Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we'll be doing an example conversion for a propane and natural gas setup for a Honda EG 6500 CL and we'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the air breather tube off the crank there. Uh, go ahead and remove your bottom breather tube. Just set that to the side. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove our air cleaner cover. Set that to the side. Pull out your filter. Now we got to expose this outside to be able to get to the carburetor. So what we'll do is go ahead and remove. There's uh, four screws on the top side here. Okay, we'll just pull that to the side. Okay, now we've exposed here where we can get to our studs. Okay, now that we have the gasoline carburetor exposed here, what I had to do in order for our adapter to fit is I took a pair of vice grips. Pull it, get as close as you can up to the back plate here and go ahead and lock down on those. And I had to back them out about six turns. There is a lot of meat back there. They're still back in there pretty deep. So what you do after you get them backed out, all right, go ahead and install the gasket. And then we're gonna install the adapter here and this will all come pre-assembled for you. So just go ahead and slide that on. Put your other gasket on, we'll supply that also. Go ahead and get your cover line back up. And see, we had to bring them out so you could get these two nuts on here. So we'll go ahead and get those started. Go ahead and lock these down. center cover as they call it And we'll go ahead and lock these down. Go ahead and get our filter back in there. Get our cover back here. Clip her down. And that step is done. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to install our regulator assembly here. This will all come pre-assembled here for you, so you don't have to worry about mounting any of this stuff here on here. So what we're going to do is from the edge of the tubing here, we're going to go ahead and come over and mark three and a half inches just below the lettering here. Okay, 
and we'll go ahead and make our mark there. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and mark over five and three quarters of an inch. Make our mark there. And just below, like I said, just below the lettering is fine there. Go ahead and get you a center punch. Get you a few marks in there. Now, obviously your gas tank is behind here, so you don't want to punch your drill bit through. So I take a piece of steel, or you can get a piece of wood, just something to get you to where obviously you're not uh, gonna destroy your gas tank. Okay, now we got our holes drilled. We'll go ahead and lock down our regulator. Put it in right here. All right. And then we'll go ahead and attach our hose that we had coming off our adapter here up to our power elbow adjustment. Go ahead. Tighten this down. All right, now we'll be ready to run it. We'll get everything hooked up. Okay, now we're ready to hook up our propane side and we'll go ahead and connect our hose here to our regulator assembly. Tighten that down. You don't require no pipe dope, it's an SAE. Go ahead and connect the regulator assembly to the tank. Um, this will all come with the kit on the propane side. Go ahead and lock that down. Go ahead and turn our propane on, our valves on. Now, on this here, you have your power elbow here, okay? This is your main, main adjustment. On the back of the unit, there's a primer button to shoot some fuel into the system to get it to start. I keep this loose. Okay, make sure your gasoline cockpit is shut off in an off position and you've ran your gasoline out. So we'll go ahead and give this a shot. Make sure your engine switch is on. Go ahead and hit your primer button. Shoot some fuel and it's a volt pull, so it could take a couple. And just go ahead and hit the primer button again. It run. Hopefully you can keep it going. What I do is jump back and hit the primer button to keep it running. Hit the button. Hit the button. Now that you've seen the propane installation side, um, basically for natural gas, you're just going to remove this hose here, your fittings, and go right to your uh, shutoff valve here, and then take that over to your natural gas meter. Now we also carry that three-quarter inch True ID natural gas hose for these with the Quick Connects, which is on our website. If you're interested in purchasing this kit from us, uh, you can go to pngtechnologies.com 
or you can call us at 734-992-2648. And I appreciate you watching this video and have a good day. Thank you. Okay, this will just give you a little idea of basically what comes with the kit. Now on the propane side, you're gonna get your high pressure regulator, your secondary regulator, low pressure regulator with your connections here, with your ball valve and your connection here to come from your propane cylinder. Um, and then you'll also get your adapter and your gaskets for that side. When you're doing the natural gas, obviously you will not have this unit here, nor this. And then what you'll do is just bring your natural gas feed in from your natural gas meter to this unit here. Now we offer the quick connects for natural gas, which is a true three quarter orifice with the fittings for them, okay? And then basically what we do when we sell them, we sell the holes in increments up to 50 feet, okay? And these basically just slide on here, okay? And then you'll clamp them down. You can either have your connection here for your quick connect. Most people buy two quick connects and then they can just, just set the holes to the side, put one here and then one at the meter. Um, the tools that we used basically for this setup, just vice grips here basically when we had to pull out our studs uh, to allow our adapter to fit. Um, this for the clamps, we used the bracket here so we didn't puncture the gasoline tank, a punch, your uh, hammer, uh, your tape measure, use a 7 16 wrench, get you a marker, uh, 7 16 uh, socket along with the number 8. Uh, that's basically the tools we use for this setup here.